Alliance for Change raises concerns over electoral system weaknesses ahead of upcoming elections. The Alliance for Change, AFC, expresses increasing concern regarding the lack of improvements in the electoral system as preparations for the upcoming regional and general elections progress. Reports indicate that the practice of verifying elector addresses, crucial for maintaining the integrity of the voter list, is being neglected, particularly in hinterland communities. The AFC acknowledges that while residency is not a requirement for the voter list, the absence of address verification creates opportunities for voter manipulation. Past practices, as established by the Elections Laws Amendment Act of 2000, have not been consistently implemented, raising alarms about the credibility of the electoral process. Notably, the 2020 election results in Region 8 highlighted the narrow margins between parties, underscoring the potential impact of vote manipulation. The AFC has repeatedly urged the Elections Commission to enhance the electoral system but has received no response to its requests for a meeting to discuss these critical issues. The party calls for the immediate adoption of technology, such as biometric identification, to ensure a more accurate voter list. Additionally, the AFC questions the inclusion of Commonwealth citizens in the electoral process, given the changing demographics with the influx of foreign workers. The AFC remains unsatisfied with the current preparations and stresses that any post-election unrest will be a direct result of the Elections Commission's failures. The party urges the chairperson of the commission to take decisive action to ensure a credible electoral process for the people of Guyana. Carve out some time from whatever it is that's keeping them so busy so that we can sit down and we can discuss all these matters that are, that are of concern not only to the Alliance for Change, but to the people of Guyana. In this day and age, why is the Elections Commission still holding on to a system of paper verification of an elector? Why is technology not being employed, as in the form of biometric identification? The present list of electors is close to the full population of Guyana. And outside of having the census that was due over a year ago, we have to use the figures of the last census. So how can that list really be an accurate list of eligible electors? Clearly, GCOM is failing in its duty to prepare for credible elections. Elections must not only be free and fair, but it must also be credible. There is also the matter of citizens of Commonwealth nations who may be considered domiciled in Guyana with the influx of foreign workers in the oil sector. Should they be eligible for inclusion on the OLE? At present, the laws provide for that. But should they really be electing the government of Guyana? This matter is engaging the attention of the Alliance for Change, and we will be speaking more on this at another time. Let me also remind you, ladies and gentlemen of the media, and those viewing there, that over a year ago, we wrote GCOM, providing the names of persons to be extracted from the list to fill vacant seats within the regional councils for Region 2, Region 7, and Region 4. GCOM has not answered us. They have not replied. They have not let us know the way forward. So we're still waiting on that. At this present time, the Alliance for Change is not satisfied with preparations for the next elections. There are too many weaknesses in the system. GCOM has not made public any recommendation on how these weaknesses are being addressed. Any post-elections unrest would be the result of GCOM's failure. It is time for the chairperson to bother herself and say what needs to be done to ensure a credible 